Okay, so as you can see, I have connected my Amazon Fire Stick to my TV. And uh, uh, the first thing, uh, of course, uh, where you get a new Fire Stick is to set up your internet connection. So after doing that, so what you need to do, you actually need to go to settings and go to my Fire, my Fire TV. Click on that. And you see there's a developer options. Click on that too. You see there's, there are two options called ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. You have to enable them both. Click on them and enable them. So click on that, turn on. When you're done, click the home button, go back to your home page. All right, uh, after you have done that, uh, uh, go to your search page and look for an app called Downloader because this uh, using that app, you will actually uh, will be downloading you know other apps that will be uh, enabling you to watch the live TV on your Fire Stick. So click Downloader. Uh, you actually got that in the suggestion below. It's called Downloader, third option from there. Click on that. And you see the first one, downloader with a with a download symbol. Click on that again. And you can see download, you own it. So that means it's actually free to download and you can just click on that button to start downloading. All right, the app has been downloaded. Now you can actually click that button again to open the app. All right, the second app that we're going to install using the downloader app is a Chrome browser. And trust me, uh, you have to install the Chrome browser because this will not work on any other browser. So let's do it. Uh, click on that link so that it can open the keypad for you. Um, so my, the link is actually HTTPS. So we're going to erase uh, some of the letters from there. And I'm going to paste that link in the, in the description so that you don't have to, you know, watch the video carefully. And actually make sure to uh, paste the link as it is even uh, considering the cases because if you mess up the link uh, even a letter it will not work now i have pasted the link and uh, click go when you're done and you can see it is actually downloading the chrome browser for you All right, Chrome has been downloaded. Scroll down at the bottom and click on the install button to install the Chrome on your fast track. Click on the done, done button and as you can see, Chrome has been successfully downloaded and installed on your fast track. And when you see this message, uh, click on the delete button so that you don't have the setup file on your uh, fire stick because you know the space is limited. Click on delete and delete the setup files. All right, uh, there's one other app that we need to install actually and it's called mouse toggle. Um, the reason we need to install mouse toggle is because the Cro using Chrome browser is actually very difficult on your Fire Stick because Chrome actually doesn't work very well on your Fire Stick by default. You actually have to use a mouse toggle so that you can use your pointer to use a Chrome browser. You'll get to know what I'm actually talking about. The link for the mouse toggle is actually here. I'm going to paste that into the description box again. And if you're using uh, Fire Stick 4K, then link is a little different. I'm going to paste that also in the description. So based on the version of your Fire Stick that you are using, the model, uh, you know, the links are different. So carefully, you can actually type the links. And when you have successfully typed the link, just go and press the go button. This is a very small file, about 2 MB, 2.5 MB, and uh, it will be installed uh, when you click the install button. It's called Mouse Toggle for Fire TV, and it actually enables you to run the Chrome browser on your Fire Stick. Click on the done, and again, uh, similarly, you know, like we did for Chrome, just delete the delete the setup file so that you know you don't consume your memory of Fire Stick. So up till now, you have successfully installed Downloader, Chrome, and Mouse Toggle. All right, so after you have successfully downloaded all the apps, you actually need to configure the mouse toggle app because uh, if, you, if you do not configure it, it's not gonna work on your Chrome browser. So right at the bottom, you see the status starting at the moment. And uh, if the status is starting, if it's not started, then uh, it will not run. You actually click on that allow always and then click okay so that it, it doesn't ask you again. So after you have uh, click on, clicked on OK, uh, you actually need to go visit your settings of Fire Stick again. So go to your settings and go to your debugging mode once again. 
we need to turn off and turn on the debugging so that you know it actually uh, just click on uh, click on that to turn it off and click on it again so that it, it turns on again and I'm sure pretty sure that uh, the mouse app will actually start working now started so as you see the status is started so this means our mouse toggle app is configured and is ready to be used on Chrome browser so let's exit out and let's fire up the Chrome browser and uh, quickly press twice your play and pause button on your fire stick and now you can see the mouse pointer is working on chrome browser so this is the only way to activate your mouse toggle on your chrome browser to uh, quickly double press your play pause button on your fire stick